Hello there, and welcome back to this project in Enterprise Java course. So today we'll, we're going to be continuing our, um, you know, application in Spring Boot, uh, voting system application in Spring Boot. Um, and last time we went ahead and did, uh, you know, this um, performed vote, voted.html file, where we essentially just, um, you know, performed the vote. Um, and today we're actually going to be taking a look at creating this vote for controller. So let's go ahead and go to our um, voting controller. And here, what we're going to do is we're going to do at request request mapping. And here we're going to have vote for. All right, there we go. And here we're just going to have public uh, string vote for vote for, and then at request request param integer id. No, integer not. Yeah, ID. Yeah, yeah. And I spelled request wrong here. Um, change the request parent. There we go. All right. And so here in this vote for, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do um, in our uh, candidate repo, we're going to go to our candidate repo first. Where is our candidate repository? Let's take a look. Uh, candidate repo. There we go. And we're going to create a method here called public um, candidate find by ID. All right, there we go. And then in citizen repo, no, 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 we're going to go back to controller, voting controller, there we go. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, candidate equals no, candidate uh, C equals candidate repo dot find by ID, ID. Oh, yeah, by the way, in our candidate repo, I completely forgot we need to then put um, integer id into here there we go all right and what's the problem uh okay let's just put int id i think that's the problem there we go that fixed it all right okay so now that we've done that let's go back to voting so here now we have okay um let's let's, let's cast this to int since I guess, there we go, that fixed the problem. Um, we, I guess we can also do um, id dot get int. Let's do int, let's cast it to int, why not? There we go. All right, so now that we've done that, let me go and delete one here, there we go. So now we can do um, um, c dot um, set number of votes c dot get number of votes plus one all right there we go then we're going to do candidate repo dot save and then here we're going to save um c dot set number of votes whoops nope it's going to be c dot yeah no just c there we go all right so now that we've done that we can go ahead and and then also yeah so we need to return then uh voted dot html all right, there we go. All right, so we've done that. Now let's go ahead and actually do um, make sure that this works. And uh, let's before this, by the way, I, I think I need a slash. There we go. So let's save this. Let's um, go ahead and run this in our voting system, voting system application, and it should work in theory. Or rather, now that I think about it, in our um, database, if we go to terminal, um, in our number of votes, we have we actually have null. So to change this, let's actually go ahead and do um drop table um candidates all right so then i'll just drop the table let's go ahead and restart our application so that it will recreate the table uh let's wait for it here there we go so now we can do um show tables and it should be back there we go it's back and so now we can do insert into candidates um, ID uh, number let's do ID candidate name whoops name and number of votes uh, values let me make this bigger so I can see I think about it all right there we go values um, let's see so let's just insert um, well ID is one 
Um, candidate name is Bill Fort. Okay. And then the number of votes is zero. Whoops. Uh, insert. What's just the problem? Oh, right. Okay. Um, yeah. Always forget these uh, quotation marks. Uh, unknown column number of votes. Um, let me take a look actually in candidate at this point. I don't, I don't remember what, what I set. Oh yeah. Number of votes. Why does it can it see it though? Huh? Well, that's odd. Let me delete that and let's put it back. That is, that is very odd. Why, why that is not working. Column name, number of votes. Do, 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 private integer, let's try long maybe. Perhaps that'll do it, but it, it, it shouldn't actually affect that anyway, but I mean, let's just try restarting it again, running it again. Um, yeah, we, we need to change this as well. So integer and then int long here as well. All right, there we go. So I don't know, I guess let's just, let's drop the table again. Uh, drop, drop table um, candidates. There we go. Let's restart this again. We're getting there. We're slowly getting there. Let me go and skip to where it actually starts. All right, there we go. So now when we go back to terminal, we should be able to do um, insert candidates, number of votes, one bill, for it. Again, that's really weird. Why that? Ha why is that happening? That's really weird. Okay, let me try. I really wouldn't even know. Let me try putting it before the, I don't know, but the constructor is still there. Uh, maybe I should just add it. Okay, probably the constructor. I should just create a constructor using the fields. Um, okay, there we go. All right, so now let's actually run this. And now it should give us the correct, the correct thing. Number of votes. That's it's really odd that it wouldn't. It's really odd that it wouldn't wouldn't work there. No, it still it still isn't working. That's really really weird. Select all from candidates. Let's take a look at maybe this will tell us the problem. Oh, okay, okay, I see. It decided to add its own little, okay. That makes sense, that makes sense. We found the problem. Okay, um, number of votes, values one, Bill Fort, and zero, there we go. Okay, well, I mean, now it's, okay, okay. That makes sense, that makes sense. All right, let's drop the table. Actually, I could, just, I could, I could actually just probably um, alter alter its update update table um, uh, no not table it's going to be update candidates update candidates set um, number of votes equals zero where ID equals one there we go so now when we do select all from candidates there we go. So ID one, candidate name Bill Fort. There we go. All right. So now let's do the same thing. Except here we're gonna have values two, um, candidate name not Bill Fort. This is gonna be um, Henry Man. Okay. And the number of votes also zero. There we go. So now when we select all from candidates, we get. There we go. All right. So now that's working. Now let's go ahead and actually test out our application. Let's go to the browser. Here we are, and let's go to localhost 8080. Let's insert Bob. Okay, and so here now we can vote for Billy Fort or Henry Mann. Let's vote for Billy Fort. All right, there we go. So we got a we got a long integer error as always. They they always come. They always come. Yeah. So the um, yeah that makes sense. Let me go and actually go to candidate repo no no where, 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 where is this uh, voting controller um here we're passing in an integer we need to pass in a long and then well actually we could, we could actually well we could and then here we also need a long int 
long ID, so long ID. There we go, and then that should be casted. So this is happening. Uh, what is this? I'm going to go long. Let me take a look. Just make sure that the problem is fixed at or Spring Framework. All right, all right. So yeah, it should should be should be pretty okay. All right, there we go. Um, so now let's go ahead and restart this application. Let me cut to where it restarts. All right, there we go. Um, so now it's going to go to Safari. Okay, let's go back and refresh. Send. There we go. Let's vote for Billy Fort. Bill Fort. And there we go. All right. So yeah. So we got the voted HTML template. It can't be resolved, but you know that's expected since we don't actually have it created yet. But now let's go and actually go to our database now. And so now we can do select all from candidates. And there we go. You can see now how Bill Fort actually has one vote now instead of zero like before. And there we go. So we have now effectively created our um, very own system where we can actually vote for candidates. Now at this point, um, we don't actually we don't have voted.html created yet. Um, so we need to create that as well. We also need to implement a logger and document this since that is a very important part of any application. Um, and I mean, you know, skipping that would be would be like skipping, I don't know, maybe dep creating dependencies. So it, 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 it is very important. It's one of the things that a lot of online courses just don't do. But um, to be completely honest, logging is actually a very important part of an application because it, it really makes the difference between writing code that you know you're gonna you're gonna you're learning and writing the code that a perfect someone would actually pay for. So yeah. Also, next time we actually we also need to make sure that once somebody votes, so in this case um, Bob voted, he we also need to set his um, you know his voting status to you know um, voted already. So here if we select select all from citizens we have bob here but his has voted is still at false so we need to change that to true as well so that should be pretty um pretty pretty simple as well but you know this whole this whole thing is pretty simple so yeah anyway without further ado then um i guess uh I wish you luck with the homework, you know, getting this done on your own, um, implementing this on your own machine, and uh, I'll see you next time. Till soon.